Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Depending on the time and location you are tuned to our channel, thanks a lot for the visit. A lot of things are transpiring in the Grand Community, a lot of things are going on. But we we'll push that aside. What we want to discuss today is the notion they are trying to force down the throat of beneficiaries that if 2.5 million is disbursed to the beneficiaries to cause inflation. Now, the general statistics of this loan, of this uh, grant rather, was that it was meant for 75 million Nigerians and they are going to receive 5 million each. That was the general statistics at the beginning. So along the line, things were going wrong, things were going wrong. They reduced it to 3 million, from 3 million, they reduced it to 2 million. Now we're hearing 500,000, some are saying 50,000, some are saying 100,000. Now, the general notion that if that uh, 2.5 million is given to, to, to beneficiaries to cause inflation is not true. If you, if you ask this question to an expert, a, a financial expert, he will tell you that this is laughable. He will tell you that this is very much laughable. During COVID-19, America pumped in no less than 10 billion naira into their economy. They disposed free money, 10 billion naira. And the economy was even ready to swallow more money. It didn't cause inflation. If a country like America could pump in 10 billion naira into their, into their economy, and it didn't cause inflation. And later, early this year, again, they pumped into 15 billion naira into their economy, disposed it to people. It didn't cause inflation. And come to think of it, there will be a time America will do some bailout. They bail out some companies and pay off people, bail out some banks and pay off people. It does, if this doesn't cause inflation in a standard economy like America, let alone Nigeria economy that needs money. And they were given instance that federal government disburses 50,000, 20,000. Why federal government disburses 50,000 and 20,000 is because of greed. Is because of greed. Now, you check politicians, they will still imagine Bello, how much Bello was, was acclaimed to, to steal. Bello stole no less than, I think, 80 something billion. That doesn't cause inflation. The Senate are being paid 30 billion, uh, 30 million, 15 million. That doesn't cause inflation. Now, to give beneficiaries a token of 2.5 million, that will not cause inflation. It doesn't add up. When the politician steals money, it doesn't cause inflation. Then, when the beneficiaries are taking, are giving money, it causes inflation. So, this is a gimmick. This is a lie. It's a lie to, 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 to kind of make us make do what they're giving us according to the formation we are getting initially the beneficiary is supposed to receive five or five million later it was cut to three million later it was cut to 2.5 million later it was cut to one million we are hearing now that it's not even 500 000 we're hearing now that the beneficiaries all this struggle all this uh, bustling all this uh, antagonizing that is going to be hundred thousand naira that the beneficiaries are going to receive that is palliative now why are they giving us palliative you give palliative when there is state of emergency you give palliative when the country is at war you give palliative when there is epidemic you give palliative when the economy is uh, is uh, crippled nigeria economy is not crippled the only thing we are suffering from greed from 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 particular people so this money that are saying that is palliative that they will give palliative for generally it is if they want to give us palliative yes let them give us palliative but saying that because of inflation they will not give 2.5 million that they will keep the where would they not keep the money you, you see you see this this analogy and this argument doesn't add up okay they have the money to disburse because of inflation, they will not give us 100,000, 50,000. Then where will they not keep the excess money? Who will use it? Where will they, where will they bank it? You know, where will they bank it? Is it still not coming back into the economy? Uh, is it not still coming back into the economy? Now, Nigeria goes to borrow money because we don't have money. Now, there's a means to pump in money into the economy, they are telling us. So these things they are saying is not from financial experts, it's from the foot soldiers of I don't know where they are coming from. So beneficiaries, 
if they want to give us palliative let them tell us they want to give us palliative but saying that because of inflation if they give us 2.5 million that uh, it will cause inflation is not true it's not true let them find another lie to tell us let them find another thing to tell us you know let them tell us the amount and say this is the amount we have but telling us that because of inflation that 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 no many things come in when there is inflation inflation doesn't necessarily okay did they did they do they know the bandwidth of nigeria economy for a for crying out loud we are two more than 200 million people and there's no money in circulation so putting that in circulation will it you know the thing the, this argument is just so so far-fetched that it, it, it's disheartening it's disheartening so guys the notion that uh, paying 2.5 million to beneficiaries will cause inflation is not true it's generally debunked you know meet a financial expert ask the person he will tell you that this is laughable it's laughable uh, the way the Nigerian economy is now we need as much money as much naira as we can get because there's no money in the system so saying that this wasn't 2.5 million will cause inflation it's not true so guys thanks a lot for crisscrossing we'll see you in our next update bye for now